been brought to my attention that I mess around a little bit too much in my videos and there's too many gimmicks going on. So, I've decided to take them seriously. In this video, we're gonna be talking about clutch and when to use it. So I'm gonna go right on this roundabout. Again, my clutch goes down because I'm coming to the junction. I wanna make sure that I don't stall. And then I'm holding that biting point. And then I'm coming around the roundabout and now I'm lifting the clutch up and then my foot goes back to the foot rest. So specifically in this video, we're gonna be looking at when we use the clutch how much we use the clutch in traffic in built up areas and when we're coming to junctions. We're gonna be looking at the preparedness or readiness, preparedness, preparedness. We're gonna talk a little bit about coasting, why it's bad, but also when it's okay. And then I'm gonna be running through some practice methods that you can use to sort of help you with the clutch. Readiness on the clutch means is it's really simple. All it is is don't keep your foot flat to the floor, bring the clutch up so you're a little bit closer to the biting point and then you're gonna be able to move off a lot smoother and a lot quicker. So I'm coming up to a junction that I can't quite see clearly on. I can't see right or left, so I know that I'm gonna to have to probably come to a stop. So my clutch goes all the way down to the bottom and now I'm looking right and left and I can see that there's traffic coming from my right. So I'm gonna bring my clutch up so it's a little bit closer to that biting point there. I'm gonna hold it there, move my foot to the brake, and then gas and bite. And that readiness really helps me with a really smooth move off. Now there are a few other things that you could be looking at if you're looking at a crossroads. If the cross traffic is stopping, then that could be an indicator that maybe the lights are about to change for you, in which case you could be ready. i am use my handbrake on this one. Now so bring the clutch up a little bit. And then as I go to move off, it's really immediate. It's really, really quick. It's gonna make a massive difference for you to be able to move off more fluidly in traffic and be able to keep up with people. Now, what I strongly recommend you do is not sit on the biting point for too long. If you're sitting on that biting point for more than four or five seconds, you're gonna be burning it and eventually this smell is gonna come you into the car and it. it's not really good. Now, I'm not gonna get technical. I'm not gonna go into what's actually happening me mechanically with your clutch, but safe to say you're not doing it any favors. If you want more information on that, follow this link. It will give you some information on how you can use your clutch and some practice exercises that are gonna help you out. How much do we use the clutch when we're in traffic? Well, we use it a lot. As I come up to this bus here, I don't know if something's gonna change. So I, I prepare my feet just in case. I can see now that the bus is gonna wait. It's gonna have to wait for me because I'm in position. Again, I'm approaching this pedestrian crossing. So again, I've just demonstrated how I move my feet across just in case I needed it. Didn't really need it there, but it's probably a good idea for you guys to be getting ready for that. Now I'm scanning this pedestrian crossing here. I'm looking to see if there's anybody there. I've got this van on my right hand side that could sneak through. Can't see behind here, so I'm preparing my clutch. I'm actually going to put it down just to make sure I can see all of that pedestrian crossing. I don't want to sort of assume there's not going to be anyone there and then get caught out and then probably stall. If you want to go into more about stalling and to how to reduce the risk of stalling and what you can do to prevent that, follow the link to this video up here and that will give you some more information. Coasting is bad because if you're driving at high speed, so let's say for example downhill and round corners, you can lose stability of your car and it's definitely something you need to understand. You have to coast to stop. My foot is now covering that clutch. My clutch goes down nice and early, come to a stop. You are gonna be coasting a little bit sometimes when you're approaching junctions, depending on whether you're driving a diesel or a petrol. Now a diesel, I tend to use my clutch quite a lot when I'm approaching a junction because I need to get the car down below a certain speed and I can only do that with my clutch. So I'm gonna go right on this roundabout. Again, my clutch goes down because I'm coming to the junction. I wanna make sure that I don't stall and then I'm holding that biting point and then I'm coming around the roundabout and now I'm lifting the clutch up and then my foot goes back to the foot rest. What you've got to do is you've got to get that clutch down, get the speed down to the right speed and then slowly bring it up to the biting point as you're coming around the corner. Petrols do behave a little bit differently, but also it's okay that that clutch goes down a little bit, but as long as you're not going around the entire corner with the clutch down, you should be okay. 
You don't need to be putting your clutch down every time you brake. Now, a lot of people that I teach, when they think about braking without the clutch, it's terrifying because you think, I'm gonna stall. And I get it, I get it. But you've gotta push the boat. You've gotta try and see how far you can push it before you need the clutch. And maybe you're gonna stall a couple of times. If you stall a couple of times, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Approaching this junction down here. So again, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. I'm in second gear. I'm gonna turn right here. I'm gonna start doing some braking. I'm doing 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12 clutch goes down. If you brake without the clutch coming down to begin with, what's happening is the engine is sort of holding the car back a little bit as you brake and it just feels much more comfortable. You've got to listen to your engine. You can also look at the revs if you want, if you want to do it more visually. And I just call it braking without the clutch, but you'll start to understand it a little bit more and then it'll be much safer. But if you've ever been driving downhill, like a long dual carriageway downhill and you're coming up to a junction and you put that clutch down at 30 miles an hour and you can feel the car feels really, really unstable. It's because that clutch has gone down a little bit early. Practice it, give it a go, try it, and you will see what I'm talking about. If you have got any value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and then you're gonna know when the next video is coming out. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Maybe fast forward this bit so we're not sitting here for too long. Okay, so I gotta move off.